God. Let him come back with a testimony. I know you are the God of the poor and the needy. Please, do not disappoint me. Papa is not yet back. No. What, what, what is keeping him now? Eh? Since morning. Eh? Just look at the time. Eh? What's keeping him? Who knows? Maybe they will pay them today. Yeah. And you know there are a lot of them, so the payment will take a lot of time. I just hope so. I really hope so. I really hope so. Because the way things are going now, I just don't understand. I really don't understand. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Sometimes I wonder why God is still keeping me alive. Is it not better that I join my wife in the grave than live here and watch my life deteriorate with great speed daily? Ah, Amara, look at us. Just look at us. What crime did I commit by committing the better part of my youth working for the government? But it's okay. Huh. I hate it when you talk like this. Not for anything. Look at those your children. 
we should be a source of joy and happiness. If you die now, who will take care of us? That's the point, my daughter. Am I really taking care of you in this house? Your school fees are all outstanding. We cannot boast of good food in this house all because the government refused to pay me my pension for the past nine months. Nine whole months. Hi. Amara. What difference does our lives make from those of the papas out there? For the old? No. I know God is here to throw the one day. to sleep. I'm not dizzy yet. Daddy. Daddy, you're crying. Daddy, why are you crying? Amara. No father will ever be happy to see himself incapacitated. Not that I was lazy. I had been a hard working man. As a teacher throughout all my life in this teaching profession, I was always very hard working. I usually went to school before every other person. I, I worked for 35 good years as a teacher. I never lagged behind in anything at all. And now, that I have retired from service after giving 35 years of service. I retired as a grade level 15 officer, principal special grade 2. Why would the government pay me my pension for me to at least take care of my family? Care of my children. <laughs> Daddy, please don't cry. Daddy, please don't cry. I know. By the special grace of God, they'll pay you soon. Daddy, it's okay. Don't be funny. Daddy. I will have to remind you that the curse of the death of my wife, my darling, your mother, 
She died simply because I was unable to provide 20,000 Naira. Hi! Only. Hi! 20,000 Naira for her appendicitis operation. Daddy, please stop. Oh. Daddy, please stop. Stop, Daddy. Daddy, please. I have told you. Stop dwelling in the past. My mom is long dead and forgotten. I think we should face the future now. Come, 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 come to bed. I'm, I'm sure if you sleep very well tonight, by the time you wake up, you will forget about the disappointment you have at the local government today, Daddy. Have you come, please? Years of Daddy, I know. She always cry. Huh? Uh, is it because you are being sent out of school? Tell me why you See, 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 Emma. All we should be doing now is to figure out the solution and not cry. Let's talk to the English teacher to help us talk to the principal. Okay? I will not do that. We said that last weekend I will stop your address. Now you want me to do that again? I will not. I will not. Stop now. Stop. Stop crying. Stop now. Eh? The English teacher likes us. I'm sure if we tell her to help us talk to the principal. She will do that again for us. Okay? Why are you doing it like that? I know, I just know. Let's just try. Okay? Okay. Then I will just play it now, John. Okay. Yes, are you sure they are not going to disappoint you people this weekend? Because we wouldn't want to disappoint our English master again. Who knows, my son? Who knows? You know, last weekend, they promised us everything, gave us all every assurance that they were going to pay. They even asked us to line up, queue in a single file, to receive our money. We queued, in the, we queued on the line and we were standing there for hours on end. One woman who was looking sickly and very hungry collapsed. Collapsed. Mm. And was carried to the hospital. I thank God I did not collapse so, because I knew I was more hungry than that woman. But Daddy, see, I'm confused here. Yes. Why are these people not paying? Why the yes. promise and pay? Is it that the government they don't have money anymore to pay or what? My daughter. Ghost pensioners. Ghost pensioners. And what of them? Ghost pensioners. Ghost pensioners, you know this country is corrupt. Our politicians are corrupt. 
Now the corrupt politicians will go and sign up people that never worked for this country for a single day as pensioners. They are called those pensioners. Now those people signed up will receive little incentives from these corrupt politicians. They will go every month. They go and collect that incentive. Why the politicians, the corrupt politicians, the evil people in government, the wicked men that are down trading on others, will go and embezzle the major money. Why those people who are supposed to be paid as pensioners are denied people like us? That is the problem. This is serious. And this is wickedness. A job. And nobody is talking. Nobody. Who will talk? I will talk or others. Who? Who amongst us will talk? Eh? You want them to shoot me and to kill me? No, no. L let me tell you. When they will be moving with their siren, win, 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 win from place to place. Those people are not qualified to ride inside any siren. They are not supposed to drive with sirens. It's only the presidents and the governors that have such powers. They have no such powers. But these wicked and corrupt politicians will be, will be, oh my God. They, 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 they kick people here and there, push them from one side to the other. If you see what they do in holdups, in, in, where, where we have traffic jams, my God, you will have mercy and pity the common man. Now, those people that carry guns, that moved with them. You will see them jump down on the road, carry gun, wave it up and down. They run front and they run backwards. They are not policemen. They are not army people. But they will carry these evil men. The hoodlums they used to rig elections that sent them into power, they used them to harass people on the way. They are not army people. They just go and show police. No trained policeman will behave like that on the road. The military men and the barracks, they cannot come out and behave like that. The, these hoodlums, when you look at them, you know they were retired thieves. They are old. And that is why they shoot people like that. Trained policemen don't shoot their guns anyhow. Military men don't come out and uh, move around the streets singing praises for people anyhow. Oh, you cannot be. Please, uh, please uh,
could not sustain me. You mean you still make use of tissue paper instead of sanitary pads? I don't have that kind of money to buy a pad. We don't have that kind of money. Jesus Christ. Amara, you make sure you come and meet me every month to collect money for your sanitary pad. Okay? I hope you've made use of the one I gave to you. Here's something. You can go and wash your foot. Amara, look at your life. Just take a good look at yourself. A very beautiful and intelligent girl like you. Look at how your life is wasting. You're just destroying yourself for nothing, for nothing. When I'm here. Eh? Okay, look at your school uniform. You're still wearing this, you and your brother are still wearing the same old school uniform. That does not have the school badge. Am I talking about your school fees? Or is it Wayek? That one is to thy kingdom come. Ordinary sanitary pad of 150 naira you cannot afford. I have told you, only accept my proposal, accept me. Even if it is for 10 minutes, just let me just be your boyfriend. For 10 minutes, I will do all these things for you. You will never lack again in this room. I know, I know what I'm telling you. I have great potential to take care of you. Eh? Okay, are you the only born again in this world? Are you the only born again? Are you the only Christian in this world? Are you the only young girl that is, a, that is born again? Me too, am I not born again? Eh? Even in that your classroom, in that your class, all those girls there, all of them have boyfriends. Except you. How do you accept me? It's, always, it's because I love you. I, I will take care of you. I will do all these things for you. Yeah, eh? Let them have now. Let them have. Me, I don't want to have. Is it by force? Is it by force? Leave me alone. No. Leave me alone. No. I'm, I'm warning you. Leave me alone. Amara. this letter. Give it to your principal. I believe after reading it, he will allow you people in. Daddy, there's no need for this. He said this as at last week that if we fail to pay our school fees, he will not listen to any plea from anyone. Even if God himself comes down to plead with him. Amara, I've told you before, let's be optimistic here. He's a father like daddy. He will understand him better. And I believe after reading the letter, he will see reasons with us. Okay? Let's just try. Ugona. Ugona. I know you're always hopeful, but trust me, this will lead to further frustration and public disgrace. I don't want it. I don't. That's the only option we have. And we just have to try, okay? We have to try. Okay. See you. 
Give it to your father and tell him I don't need it. All I need is your school fees. I am not the government that refused to pay his pension. Neither are we running a, a charity organization in this place. You understand? Tell him that. My friend, go back to your father. Tell him if he cannot trade me in school and pay your school fees, then stay with him. Don't find something else to do. After all, it is not a must that all the children must go to school. You don't want a charity organization. Please leave me alone. I'm so sorry. Don't even tell me it's okay. You're the one that caused this whole thing today. I'm sorry, our plans didn't work. I'm sorry. So, what are we going to do now? What else are we going to do other than to go home? Come here. Hey, stop crying, okay? Stop crying. I'll give you the money. Give me, okay? I'll stop crying. Okay. So you give us our fees? Yeah, two of you. Is it today? Oh, should we come tomorrow? Leave me alone! Oh, Open our legs. Good people so far, and the evil rejoice in their sin. Amara, I've always told you, when things like this happen, don't start crying. Let's begin to figure out the solution. Hmm? Mr. Figurati, what solution do you have this time around? You know, I've been thinking, seriously. About what? Do you know we can make this money on our own? I mean, it's a matter of five days or more. Yes. Five days or more. Yes. Are you truly ready for this? Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready to do anything, provided it's not evil in the sight of God and acceptable in the sight of men. I can't wait a second to embark on it. Okay, so you just have to get ready. I have a plan. Please, we came to know if you are the one that is handling this job. Yes, anything? Yes, sir. Please, uh, we want you to employ us. Yes, sir. Have you been doing this kind of job before? No, 
but we, sh we are sure we can handle it. Yeah. What makes you think you can do it? I mean, your mate should be in school by now. Yes, sir, but uh, we need to raise money to pay our school fees. That's why we are here. What about your parents? Now, our mom is late and our father has not received his pension for the past nine months. All right, it's okay, it's okay. Um, sorry about your parents. But since you said you can do the job, maybe I should give you guys a trial. But I beg you in the name of God, do not disappoint me. I promise, sir. I promise. Yeah. Trust us, sir. Please. We will not, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. Weekend will be able to pay our fees. Oh, that's true. Yes, and you're happy now, Oprah? Yes, Kido, brother. I'm happy. You're always not happy. Yes, no, because you're my sweet sister. I am also happy that I have understanding children like both of you. Oh, happy. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay. Let me hurry to the market to look for something to do. Please, 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 hurry, hurry. I can't wait. I'm coming. Please, please. I'm So how are you? 
Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Um, uh, 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 please, don't call me, sir. Just call me Jonah. Okay. Good afternoon, Uncle Jonah. I am not your uncle. Hmm? Hmm? Just call me Jonah. Good afternoon, Brother Jonah. Can you remove that brother there? Just call me Jonah. Okay. Jonah. So, a pretty girl like you doing here, doing this mini job, you should be in school by now. You are right. Our school fees are owing. And me and my brother, we just have to do this job so that we can make money to pay our fees. Okay. So what of your parents? It's a long story. So how much are we talking about here? 10,000 naira. 10,000 naira? Only? So if I should give you 10,000 naira now, you go back to school? Yes, sir. With immediate effect. I will. Ten thousand now. Take it. Take, 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 take. So can you go back to school now? Thank you. No, 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 don't stand for me. Please, I don't like it. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. Oh. Yeah, wait. This is my car. Do not hesitate to call me whenever you need me. Okay? I will always be by your side. I wonder how he managed to have that kind of money to build that kind of house. This is the house. Very big house. I saw you. Very big. However, my daughter, money doesn't come with age. But time and chance make the difference. Sure. Daddy, do you know I called him brother? It's not that I should not call him brother. That I should call him by his name, Jonah. <laughs> Jonah. Jonah. Must be God sent. Jonah. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, oh, so, uh, which one are you? A fish belly or mini bear? Ah, uh -huh, <laughs> daddy! Daddy, no, I had to choose the fish belly, not mini bear. Oh, oh, oh. Um, yes, since today is public holiday, I decided to come and thank you. At least to show gratitude for what you did for us the other day. Oh, you did very well, okay? I like how you came around to see me. Hmm? Thank you. You know, the, the, the last time I saw you, I, I, I liked you so much. You understand? Yeah, you know. Thank and I you. promised myself that I cannot be alive to see you suffer. Hmm? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, how come you have so much money to build this kind of house? I'm a businessman. I import building materials. Oh, okay. So, how come I've not seen you with a car? Mm, you know, actually, I don't. I, I don't live here in the in the in the east. I stay in Abuja. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I I normally take flight, fly down here to check how the work is going on. You know, all these contractors they can eat your money. You know. Mm -hmm. So you understand. So I come around to check, and I do come around every two weeks. But right now, I stay in the hotel. Okay, no problem. And um, Jonah, please, I have to start going. 
It's my okay. dad and my hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I want you to take this money and uh, change your wardrobe, okay? Change your wardrobe and change this clothes you're wearing. I don't like what you're wearing. You have to change, just change. Look good, okay? Look good. All this for me? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, am I dreaming? You are... <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Rama. It's okay. Thank it's not so you. It's one of those things, eh? Such is life. Hmm? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I see this one. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. Thank you, Rama. And this, that. Oh, wow. my God. that's good. All these clothes look expensive. Yes, they are very expensive. All for you. Yes, all for me. <laughs> oh, this is your color. Very good. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Nicole, yeah. what you gonna It's a lie. For me? Yes, yeah, for you. You like it? Are you sure? I like I'm it sure. now. How can you be asking such questions? <laughs> My sister, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. I love it. It is so you know you're dark, so I got white. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, uh, that's very good. I would like to meet this young man myself. At least so say thank you to him. Yes, yes, yes. He has actually been a source of joy to this family again. Sure. Okay, no problem. I'll give you his number so you can call him. Yes, now it's finished. Now, look at this boy. Ah, hold on. Yes, ah. Like this, are you not happy seeing me? It's not like that, it's just that nobody has ever come to look for me in school, so I was wondering. Okay, okay, okay. You no, know, I like surprises, I just want to surprise you. you know? Hope all is well. Yeah, all is well, all is well. I was just rushing to the side, so I decided to stop by to see you and probably to give you this. You bought me a phone? Yeah, I bought you a phone. Thank you. So I can reach you at any time I want to. Okay. And there's a SIM pack inside it. Eh? Um, use this money to register the SIM. But SIM registration is free. Okay, just, just use it in case you need anything, you need to buy anything. Just take. But the, the, the money you gave to me the last time is still remaining. Add this one to it. Add it to it. Thank you. Hey, um, your father called me last night. Yes. I, I gave him your phone number. Don't you like it? You shouldn't tell your father whatever we are doing together. Whatever conspiracy we are you shouldn't tell your father. You're a big girl now. I don't hide anything from my father. So, you should start hiding things from your father from today. Mm. Yes, don't tell him what you said, okay? Keep it secret. Okay. Okay.
I saw him. I saw him. No wonder your sword didn't change. See, my spirit can never deceive me. You're not buying new textbooks. Eh? Look at you everywhere, everywhere I've changed. Everywhere, everywhere I've changed. Eh? You think I don't know? Eh? My, I said my spirit can never deceive me. Eh? It's not your type. It does not ask me for anything. For that Christmas, I've seen him. That person that I saw now, for that Christmas. He'll just be giving you things, you will not ask you for anything. So let me tell you, for your information, I'm still a virgin. <laughs> I'm a virgin too. We are all virgins. Oh, you think I'm not your type? Or maybe it's because I'm, I'm a copper. See, my tomorrow, my future is very, very bright. Tomorrow now you can meet me in the governor's office, I'll be the governor. Tomorrow I can be in the local government office, I'll be the local government chairman. Tomorrow I can be the, 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 the organ in one big, 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 big office like that. You know. Eh? All this I'm telling you is because I love you, that's why I'm telling you all these things. That's why I'm telling you all these things. But since you don't want to listen, <laughs> don't, in fact, the thing is this. Consider yourself, eh? You failed HPE this time. Eh? There's no point. You know you cannot try it. And you know it. Jealousy. You know love. It's because you, you know it's jealousy now. That's why you're doing because I love you. Father, bless and sanctify this room to nourishes for wisdom and love and unity, progress and riches in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Are you sure you enjoy it? <laughs> yes, it's nice. You almost implicate me now. Yes. You were having dinner when your call came in. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. Why are you sounding like that? I'm not feeling fine. Oh. Sorry about that. Um, baby, can I ask you for a favor? Okay, what is it? I am sick and I want you to come to my hotel room and take care of me just for tonight. I'm so lonely here. Oh, well, until now, you know that's not possible now. Besides, I don't tell. What if anybody sees me there? So you don't love me? Hey, baby, you don't love me, eh? This little favor I ask of you, you can't even do it. No problem. Good night. Hello. Hello, wait. Wait, please, wait. It's not what you think. Okay. Um, I'll see what I can do. Mm. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, mm -hmm. Come, 
are you going to win this night? I'm going to be chill. Vigil? Yes, Vigil. But today is not Friday. Daddy, it's choir night, Vigil. When did you join the choir? But I joined last week. But you never said anything about this uh, choir vigil of her thing throughout the day. Yeah, I forgot. I just remembered the couple meant to go. Okay. Later. Have a good night. Have <laughs> a good night. I thought you said you were sick. <laughs> yeah, I'm just love sick. I was missing you, that's why I mean. I can't I can't wait to have you around me. I, I, I think about you every day and night. Now, do you know the kind of fix I took in coming to this place? Yeah. You do crazy things about me. Okay. So what do you want me to do now? <sighs> I want you to come and sit on the bed. Hmm? Good night. I thought you said you love me, not for sex. I thought you said you love me naturally. So, why are you asking me to come and sit on the bed? Yeah, I love you. I'm not doing anything, I just wanted to be by my side. I just wanted to come close, sit on the bed. No sex, nothing. Nothing more. Okay. I can't do anything. 
see it's you. What did you just say now? You heard me. Take me for a fool. Eh? I do things for you. I buy things for you. I give you money. I bought clothes for you. But you think it's for free. Eh? Just leave. See, 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 what if I accept it now? What, 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 what? What's the problem? What's the problem? What is going on here? You are hiding it from me. Alright. Keep hiding. Keep hiding it. But when it gets out of your control, you will definitely seek my consent. But by then, it might have been. Yeah. 
Men are like that. You know that my father's friend, a married man for that matter, he's willing to solve all my financial problems for me. But he's saying if only I can have sex with him, he can do anything for me. A married man? Man. A man as old as my very own father. <laughs> oh no. That's too bad. See, no amount of lack and want can make me sell my virginity and my pride until after my marriage. Same with me. I will never lose my virginity. Not for anything. Same here. Amara, you've been moody all day. What's the problem? My wife thinks. But I, I thought you said Jonah was going to give you the money. Yes, but that was before the incident of last night. What actually happened last night? Can you imagine? I couldn't sleep all through last night. It was a total war. He tried to take my virginity. Yes. But I didn't give him. He tried and tried. I refused. So he got angry and said I shouldn't call him again. Do you know he even collected the phone he bought for me? Are you serious? Serious? See, yeah. if not for my wife. My wayek exam. I won't I wouldn't be bothered at all. But the date is just too close. It's okay. It's I okay, Amara. It's okay. Okay? Don't worry, okay? We will certainly know what to do about it. Please. Do I sure? Yes, yeah, sure. I am. Okay? Alright, thank you. Now you're making me smile. <laughs> Okay, we can't continue like this. We must do something now. I can't afford to miss my SSC exam. What about Jonah, that friend of yours? Daddy, please forget about him. Let's do things on our own now. Like what? Like... Learn from people. Anybody. So they can lend us. Daddy. This faith needs us to just faith in each other. Um, Alba, still my brother. It is expected that we should always tell ourselves the truth at all times. Yes. As I'm talking to you now, I am heavily indebted to so many people. I am facing a very serious financial predicament. There is nothing I can do right now. Look at my shop. Nobody is coming into this shop. Even those who brought their clothes cannot claim them because of the situation in the country. Please. Please, Uncle Steve. This is my wife, because I'm not talking about. If I don't do it, please. My six years in school will be wasted. I know you don't want that for me. Oh, please. Even if even if it means you going the extra mile just to give me this money. Please. Oh, please. I know God will reward you. He will not give you empty hundreds, please. I know. You are like a daughter to me. And I expect you to believe me when I tell you that 
There is nothing I can do at the moment. See. Thank you. Amara, you have had your uncle. Let's go. Can you go? Pastor, I know I am not supposed to do this, but honestly, I have gone to every place I know I would have received help, but to no avail. So I am in your office as the last resort. You know, for the past 10 months, I have not been paid my pension. And Amara here is going to sit for her SSC examinations in three months' time. That is why we have come to see if you can lend us or advance a soft loan of 15,000 Naira only to us so that she can pay and sit for these examinations. Otherwise, Pastor, the six years she spent in the secondary school will be a wasted effort. Brother <laughs> Albert, Sir, you know God is not a man that he should lie. Yes. Only be thou steadfast in your faith. Yes. In his own time, he will see you through. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. As you know, I don't handle church's money. The committee does. They only give me my allowances and salary. In that case, I don't have such money. That way, we must take an examination. That's good. I heard that your monks do few students who have not paid for their work. Why? What happened? How does it concern me? It, co it concerns me because I care about you. Eh? Moreover, the net will soon close. I don't want you to miss your exams because I love you. Eh? <laughs> okay, give me the money then. Since you love me. I should give you the money. So what happened to that, your boyfriend? Ah, you see? You see what I've been telling you? All they want is just for, the, for you to come to their bed so that they will do that thing that I've been begging you to give me. They've gotten it now. They've discarded you away. They've dumped you. You are now back to square one. See what I've been telling you? Either you're listening to me as your lover, as your boyfriend, as your teacher, as the man who loves you. All these things will not happen to you. Huh? That is just you don't you don't listen. Moreover, if you change your mind, you come, I'll, I'm still waiting for you, eh? Don't you know how to love? Or are you a love collector? I love you! I love you and you know it! 
don't know anything. I don't know. You're lying. You're lying and you know it. See, it's you that don't know what love is all about. I've been loving you. I've been showing you love. I've done everything for you. I make sure you don't lack. I give you everything. I make you happy. This is your own time to show me your own love. Do you understand? There's only you that know how to love. Please. Be patient. You still have everything you want. You put that in. It's just that it's not the right time. Please. Oh, yeah, that's not very story. I don't want to feel my way. I don't want to feel my hands up. Please. Okay. Twenty thousand naira. Hmm? This is twenty thousand naira. All I want you to do now is to come on this bed, open your legs, pull your clothes, let me have my way. Then you have this twenty thousand naira and be happy and go your own way. Do you understand? If you don't want to do it, then wear your clothes, close your legs tight. I'll close my twenty thousand twenty thousand naira tight. Do you understand? I told you you were not. This time he even kept the money on the table and said if I wish to have the money that he must have sex with me. Yes, he will not give me anything out of it. Are you serious? That boy, that boy is an irresponsible ego. I thought he was a good man. You should know men, they are all the same. No, I thought Jenna was different, serious. Hmm? <sighs> did, did Papa ask for me last night? Yes, he did. But I told him you went to collect notes from Oluchi. That's the best thing. Abuna, think, think. I, I thought you were good in thinking. This one did not work out. Think, what do we do now? Think. Tomorrow is the D day. I don't, I don't want to. I have to write this exam. Honestly, um. Amara, I don't know what to think again. I don't know. But whatever happens, just be hopeful, okay? Tomorrow you must register for exams. Okay? Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Okay? Don't don't just think too much. Okay? Okay. But that's 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 HP guys, the headmaster. I'm just confused. I don't Yes, have you got the money? Please. I don't have time. Get your money. You're like a father to me, please. It's just, it's just that. The, the government. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear this about government. You understand me? I've had enough about government doing the 7 o'clock news. Look, I don't have time. I don't have time. If you don't have the money, get out of my office. You understand me? You heard me. Get out of my office if you don't have the money. <laughs> I don't want to miss my If you miss it this year, you can always come back next year. Is it by force? I said I don't have time. Look at the time. You look a minute after three, I am out of here. Do you understand me? Yes, who is it? Who is it coming? Yes, yes, my friend. You have the money. So we have uh, who left? Uh, Oluchio KK and Amara. Amara. Albert left. Sir, Oluchio has gone to bring her money. She'll be here soon. Oh, very good. Cool. Okay, you can go now. Come back for your receipt later. Hmm? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. No, stay down. 
cry. Stay there and cry. Look at them. Look at all those girls. Are they not your friends? They have gone an extra mile to help themselves. Do you think all of them, if your parents, will give them the money? Some of them have to help themselves. But you know, put in an extra effort. But you know, you are here crying. Cry, cry, baby. No, cry on my neck. No, sit down and cry, you. Sir, please, please. Wait for me, sir. Let me go and bring my money. No, wait for you. Look at it. Three o'clock, a minute after three. You will not meet me. Oh, please, sir, please, please, wait. Please, let me, please, let me. Let me go and give him before he succeeded. Yes, I succeeded. Why? I thought you went to bring your money. Why is your face like this? Yes, I, I went to see my father's friend as as we intended, but I couldn't do it. My patients wouldn't really let me. I had to leave the hotel and I've been here pleading and begging with the principal. He won't even listen to what I had to say. You're very lucky. I'm happy for you, but for me, I have to go to next day. There's nothing I can do. I have to wait. You're very lucky. Just go and pay. But it's too late. There's nothing I can do. You mean? You just go and win. Pay. Kept your dignity. Yes, I had to. I had to. Just go and pay. I'll wait for me. They tell me to do nothing. What are you doing here? Your SAT exam, exams are going on in the hall, and you're standing here. Don't you know English language is a very important subject? I'm not feeling crazy. What is the problem? I don't know. I've been vomiting since morning. Amara, when was the last time you saw your menses? Yeah. Are you sure you're not pregnant? Amara, it had better be. Manage and go to the road now. Time is flying. Yeah. Amara, coming here every morning to put some drugs will not help you. Self medication is not good, it is dangerous. We must run a lab test on you to know exactly what the problem is so we can know the adequate treatment to administer to you. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> 
so poor. Oh, I am so I can't go to the hospital now. Jenny, let me take your blood and you do samples right away. So that the, by the time you'll be back from school and leaving it, the result will be ready. Let me do the test for you. Okay. Oh, the sun burns. The life fee is 500 now. So he was too close. How many things have you done? What is the result of our food? I'm afraid I'm not. You are three months pregnant. Do I look like a joker to you? I'm serious. When did you see your period last? Ten months ago. I thought it was because of this illness. No, I wish she my friend. She told me that her period usually ceases, especially when she's sick. Your case is different, Amara. You are pregnant. is enough to get you pregnant. Stop disturbing with this, with, this, with this your cry. You're making noise. This is a hotel room and not your father's house. Eh? Please, please, stop it. Stop it. You, 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 you're just disturbing me. Please. How am I even sure I'm the one that got you pregnant? When you met me. And so, and so, are you trying to tell me I'm the only person that I've touched you since that time? You're a big girl. Yeah, please, let me tell you. Get out from this place. So just leave this place now. <laughs> okay, okay. Stop crying. Wipe your tears, please. Stop crying. Yeah? You're disturbing all that guests. Yeah? This, this, this thing you're shouting at me, I'm not the only one here. You're disturbing them. What do you want me to do? Hmm? No, no, no. What do you want me to do? I don't know what to tell my brother. I don't want my brother and my brother to know about this. I'm Okay, 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 see, see, nobody will 
will know about it. I promise you, your father, your brothers, your sisters, nobody will know about it. Okay? I know what to do. Are you sure? Yes. I know what to do, but just stop crying, okay? Just clean your eyes, wipe your tears, put yourself together, okay? Hold on for me, I'm coming. Yeah. See you. When you get home tonight, eh? Take one from this one, eh? Then take two from this one. Do you understand? Then before you go to school tomorrow morning, take three from this one. Take two. Please. Hmm? Please. Don't take more than three from this. Or more than two from this. Do you understand what I said? Eh? Please. Okay? Okay. But are you sure if we terminate the pregnancy? Don't worry. Just do as I said. Hmm? Before you know it, your menses will start flowing with force and you'll be fine. Just a bit. Thank so, you. Listen to me. Don't take overdose. Do you understand what I said? Do you repeat what I said? You said I should make sure I do not take overdose. Trying until we succeed. Hmm? Besides, anyone who is hanging up what belongs to a child above the bridge soon his hand will be very and he will bring down his hand for the child to take what belongs to him. Hmm? Let's go and fulfill our righteousness. Hmm? <laughs> Hello? Eh? This will be the boy. You are the local government now. Eh? Eh? This They are paying. Hey! They are paying now, now. I will be on my way now. I will be on my way now, now. Eh? Hey! Hey! Who called you? My colleague. This will be the book. He said they are paying. They are paying. Now, now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's hey. go now. Let's After go. Hey! Wait. Let me just... Let me put on my dress. Let me put on my dress. Hey. Yeah? Sorry, 
Trying our best to get her revived. What happened? What happened to her? Oh, um, actually, she attempted a local abortion. Doctor, my daughter is in pressure. So, what, what are you talking about? Well, uh, she took some of her doses of the pill, and they tried to push the fetus out of the uterus forcefully. Which could be very dangerous. So, how the situation? So, Ugona, what is it doctor talking? What is he talking about? Ugona. <laughs> Happens for today. What happened? Your friend Amara, she's pregnant. She went for quick abortion. She even collapsed today in school. Blood coming out from her private part. They've even taken her to the hospital. I just pray she survived this. Oh my god. This is no good news at all. Why, Amara? Ma, why? After all we've been through. Are looking for the man that is building this house. We want to see him. You know this house? Yes, please. We want to see him. He doesn't stay in Nigeria now. He based abroad. What? Huh? Jonah, where is he? Oh, 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 oh. That idiot. <laughs> he no longer comes here now. He has stopped coming. Please, what do you mean? That guy has ruined his opportunity. His uncle that stays abroad has been sending him money to build this house. But instead of that boy doing or building this house, he has been spending the money with ladies, lodging from one hotel to the other, smoking from one job to the other. Goes after anything on skates. The uncle noticed that the job wasn't going well, so he has no option than to stop him. As I speak to you now, he has contracted someone else to oversee this job. Where can we find him now? Where else if not in a hotel? That's if he still have more money to maintain his room. But that guy, as far as I'm concerned, that guy is useless. You know the hotel? I know the hotel. Please, my brother, thank you. Let's go. Hey, okay. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Yeah? Okay. Hey, look at 
What is it? You are under arrest for child abuse and attempted murder. Officer, I don't understand what's, 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 what's going on here. Now move. Don't worry. When you get to the station, you explain yourself better. Now move. Move. Officer, help me with the bag. Just look at him. Take this man away. You have to take her, Mr. Albert. I have already taken her. Where is she? Where did you keep her daughter? Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Albert. We lost her. <laughs> we, we tried our best, but. Uh... Oh, <laughs> 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 